What's up, guys? Rulinol here. I got my friend Zaychevich in the back, so if you hear any shouting or anything that sounds a little bit silly, uh, like that's that's him. That's not me. It's okay. But if you've been keeping up with me, you might be wondering why I haven't posted any videos in the last couple of days. It might be the last two. It might be the last three. I really don't know. So but long. it's okay. I do have a valid reason. There, I there is an excuse. Um, <laughs> the, this video that you're watching right now, I think the five minute mark, there might be a little bit of a jump, there might be a little bit of a skip, and that's because it's changing to a different video. And the reason this is, uh, I'll start at the beginning, is because, I mean, I, I ran Windows, my computer shipped with Windows XP by default, and as I learned more, I, I got into Linux. And I'd installed Wubi, a program that lets you install Ubuntu inside Windows, and, uh, I created a partition for Ubuntu, Ubuntu Linux, and... Since I was still learning, I didn't want to, like, fill up my entire hard drive with it, so I only made, I think, maybe 15 or so gigs available, and, I mean, that was decent at the time, because I was just learning Linux, trying to figure out the commands and stuff like that, but at that point, now that I've been doing all these videos, it eventually got full, and, uh, so, this kind of became a problem, because when I was screen recording the, this video, the first part of it, uh, my hard drive got full. The partition of Linux just gave up, and I said, no. No, he can't record anymore. This is too much for me to handle, and it just wet itself. So, at, th at that point, um, it just stopped recording, and I was kind of disappointed, because now, okay, I can't do anything with my system. So, uh, I moved all the videos onto my USB drive, I tried to, to do a little bit of backup when I could, and uh, I reinstalled Wubi. So, I had to reinstall all my programs, that was a little bit of a... Uh, a not fun, because, I mean, there was, there's a lot of stuff I run. I run Lynx, Mplayer, Screen, Genie, Bluefish, Caden Live. I don't do any Blender stuff, but I, I want to get into that. My computer's too slow for it. But definitely, there's a lot of stuff that, I mean, it's cool to use and it's cool to play with. And, I mean, that's that's what being a, being a Linux user is all about, just trying new software and testing developer stuff. It's fun. It's fun. So, I was really pleased with this new installation. I changed the theme up. Uh, it got, it's got a little bit of a blue system color, stuff like that. I, I changed the bath, the background, not the bathtub. What was I gonna say there? I sound like an idiot. So I changed the clear looks theme. Uh, that's very, very pretty. And what I did one night, because uh, Wooby by default, uh, you could change in Windows how much how much time it allows you for uh, the operate the operating system selection. Like you can either choose Windows or Ubuntu. And when you select Ubuntu, it opens up Grub, a different bootloader, uh, the one that boots most Linux systems. If you don't know, and the timeout that Wubi allows by default is 10 seconds, and that was kind of long. So I went to the I, I don't know where the exact path file is. I think it was a uh, boot. Grub, and then Grub configuration file, grub.cfg. So I, I modified that, and I set the timeout value to be ten to be three seconds, not ten, because that ten what it was before. So I changed the time, uh, the time timeout value. I can't even talk. I'm sorry. And um, yeah, that was that was fine. It was it would boot faster, and I was really pleased with it. If, in case I didn't act, uh, in case I didn't end up selecting a, an operating system like Ubuntu Linux or the Recovery Console. So. Later that night, I booted into Windows, because I just needed to check something, I think I was doing some work with Visual Basic, and that ran the check disk utility. And the check disk utility, the check disk utility, I can't even pronounce that, I'm talking so fast like a crazy person, but hey, um, that found the grub configuration, I think it, I think it might have found grub config file, the CFG, and at that point, it realized, oh, there's Linux stuff inside here, let's get rid of it, and it just made a big decision, hey, let's delete it! Or, I don't even know what it did, but it really, really screwed stuff stuff up. Because now Grub wouldn't boot, and it would bring me to uh, Grub prompt, and I couldn't do anything. So, uh, I, I, I tried to fix it. I read a lot of guides online, like the Ubuntu forums, the, the Wubi mega post, mega thread, that I think I saw on Ubuntu forums. Um, and so, I just ran through a bunch of commands, I would mount my file system, I would try and load the kernel, and I, it wouldn't load the kernel for me. And that was really, really annoying. Next step was um, getting... It told me another suggestion was to try an Ubuntu Live CD. Because that way you could just check out the file system and modify the grub configuration file and fix it. But um, I created a Live CD. That wouldn't boot. That pissed me off. <laughs> so, try it again. Let's create a Live USB. I created a Live USB. That was successful. But... It wouldn't run. I couldn't start it up, and I was really, really upset about that. So, at that point, it's been, it's been two hours, and I was really, really upset. So, I'm just like, no, never mind. I give up. Let's just reinstall Wubi. So, I reinstalled Linux again. 
<laughs> I changed the theme, and now it's running all the software that I would usually run. I'm able to modify commentaries. I might need to modify the uh, my screen get script, this thing that lets me uh, screen record. That's with FFmpeg. I might get into that in a later later video. But yeah, here I am again. Uh, so if if you if you see any of the next videos that are coming up, you might see a pretty new a pretty new theme on my desktop. That's a uh, blue theme, the clear looks theme. Uh, with a little Python symbol in my terminal. It's very, very cute. It is adorable. And I said on Compiz, because Compiz, Compiz Configure, Compiz Config Settings Manager. Let's try and get that out of my mouth. Out of my mouth. Look, I need to stop talking. I might, I might need to get a drink or something. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, Compiz adds a lot of cool fun features and functionality to the windows. You can add animations, you can add like wobbly windows, and that's what I did. I installed wobbly windows. And it looks good. It looks just cute and all that good stuff. So, now that Linux is back and I'm, I got the ball rolling, you know, um, I can just start to work a bit more. Um, for this video, what you're watching is um, a script that is, it's modifying the echo command and it's looping it over and over again. It's it's getting the it's displaying the arguments the the string that you pass to echo so it'll it'll display it. And inside the while loop, you are it's mod it's reading the uh, the length of the string. And then from there, it's backspacing that many number that many times the length of the string. So that way, it's constantly erasing the string, rewriting it, erasing it, rewriting it. So it's always looping. It's always displaying it. So, and then there are a couple of tweaks that I'm gonna have to do, that I had to do that you might see in there is because uh, the read command if you were to type on the keyboard it'll screw it all up so I just set that to silent read dash s and if you guys know the Windows command pause that's exactly what it does it reads for one character it reads uh, use the read command dash n number one so you're reading only one character or use that uh, you use dash s for silent, you can see me using this video, and at that point you can use the dash p command for prompt and give it a string that says uh, press any command to continue. So that's really all you had to do for that. And I used some sort of the technique inside this video, so that's cool. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's anything, anything more to say. <laughs> I'm really pleased. So Zajevich is coming over and he just he's gonna say something. He's, he, he's giving me a high five right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, was, there was some good good uh, bromance. No, that's not the word I'm looking for. No, that, 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 is that is definitely not the word I'm looking for. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely intense stuff. So, <laughs> um, the next thing that I'm gonna be looking at is a uh, Pi game, Pi GTK. I'm sure I've mentioned it tons. Download and just loop through uh, commands inside. Uh, no, not commands, but the source page for uh, for YouTube. And that way, it'll you can loop through all these files. You can, I'm um, sorry, all the videos that are displayed. In if you were to search something, I think I'm gonna be using curl the uh, the the web program, the command line web program that send uh, data to forums. That you that way you can you can search YouTube. Um, right? That uh, that you're using a web browser and it uses cookies to do that. So when we're streaming it, we have to create a sort of a, a sort of bit of a fake cookie. So that's a lot of fun and crazy stuff. But I don't know. I, I really like to jump into it. Fun is an overstatement. Is an overstatement. That is exactly right, Sajovic. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Um, really, I think I'm going to be doing that in Bash. I might, mix, I might mix PHP into that because the string position, I don't know if there is any good function for that in Bash. But... Comments here is all done, guys. It'd be cool if you could comment, rate, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you again.